AI is getting insane. Jokes aside though, with how fast AI is improving to where you have people making full YouTube videos with AI, I thought it would be perfect to try making an edit using AI again. But unlike last time, thanks to my friends at Tempolar, not only I will make the edit using AI, but the song I'll be using in the edit is going to be 100% made by AI. So the way it's gonna work is I'll be using Tempolar to find a song for my edit, and then I will be asking ChatGPT for what effects I should be adding to the edit, which is either going to be insane, like I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty fire. Definitely stealing that one for future edits. Or a complete disaster. Oh, hell no. What is that? Ain't no way I'm posting an edit like that. So this is Tempolo, and as you can see, it has a very simple and clean layout, and you can simply just write what kind of song you want by describing the vibe, genre, or even the mood, and Tempolo will generate a song for your liking. So for example, if I want a chill lo-fi song, you can just ask it to make it, and then you can either use the search to search for songs that Tempolo has already made that matches your description of the song. So for example, you can see here, it has a bunch of different songs that matches the description that I asked. For example, Or if you want to create a completely new song, you can just use the AI generate and click on that. And as you can see now, it generated two different songs that matches the description that I gave it. For example, And if that still doesn't match your liking, you can just keep generating more songs until you find the right one for you. Another really cool feature that Tempolo has is that it can generate a song that is going to be similar to a song you give it. So if you go into the audio button and upload a song that you want a similar version of, so for example, I can just use one of the ones over here. and upload it, Tempolo is now going to generate two different songs that are similar to that song. For example, And as you can see, it works really great. And the best thing about Tempolo is that any music that is generated by Tempolo is royalty free with full commercial usage, which basically means you can use it in any social media without getting copyrighted or anything like that, which is great because that way you can use songs that you like and still get some of that sweet ad revenue from YouTube. And to get the license for the song you like, you simply need to click on the three dots on the right side and press on get license. And as you can see, you get the license and you can download it right over here, which is perfect for using in your edits or your videos. The last really cool feature that I'm going to to show you is the stem splitter. So you know how you want to use a clip of an anime and have the voice line of the character in the edit, for example, in the intro. The problem is a lot of the time when you try to use a clip for straight from the anime is that it will have background music from the soundtrack of the anime, which sounds really bad, especially when it overlaps with the song you're using for the edit. And so to remove the soundtrack from the voice line of the character, you can simply use the Tempolo stem splitter and upload your mp3 file over there and just drag it onto the site. And as you can see, it's gonna split up your audio and then you can just press on download all stems. And in the folder that it gives you, you can see that you're going to have separate files for each section of the audio and then just use the vocals file in your edit, for example. You're gonna get such an ass whooping. Give back, GG. Give back my friend right now! Which works incredibly well and it completely removes the soundtrack from the voice lines. And if you want to try out Tempolo yourself, make sure to check the link in the description and get 20% off. So now that I showed you all the incredible features that Tempolo has, I'm going to be just messing around with it and trying to find a good song for my edit. And I will get back to you when I have the song.
So after a while of playing with Templar and just trying a lot of different things and generating different songs, I ended up choosing this song for my edit. As you can see, I definitely think this song can work really well for an anime edit. It's extremely epic and the beats for the song are also pretty clear. So it's not going to be too hard to sync the clips to the song. And as for the anime I will be using, I think I'm going to go with My Hero Academy as this song very much gives me the vibe of My Hero with how like epic it is in a way. And on top of that, last time I made an edit using AI, I did a My Hero edit, so why not start a tradition and make this one on My Hero as well. And after getting the clips and doing some transitions, this is what the edit looks like so far. I'm sorry it took me so long. Is everyone up? Do you think I can be a hero too? So I think that actually turned out pretty good, but it's definitely missing some flair. So like I mentioned earlier, I had this idea, instead of just freestyling effects, I'd let ChatGPT pick them for me. So basically I screenshotted every single clip in the edit, threw them at ChatGPT and told it, give me more of style effects. And to be fair, it actually came back with some pretty wild stuff. Even gave me categories, detailed steps, and exact settings to use. Like bro, it was basically trying to turn me into an editing robot. Anyways, let's test this. First up, let's try this typography hit. I followed chat tutorial word for word, slapped it on After Effects, and oh hell no. What is that? Ain't no way I'm posting an edit like that. So instead of copying chat word for word, I decided, nah. I'm gonna do my own thing. And the remix it. For this one, I went with 3D text instead of whatever that was. Whew, much better. Now, I'm not gonna bore you by explaining every single clip, but I gotta say this. ChatGPT is obsessed with Sable. Like, Xenos in 2022 overlay level obsessed. For every single clip, it was like, use Sable. And I'm sitting here like, bro, you can't even see the edges of the character. Why are you giving me Sable again? Moving on. Another thing, Chat never once suggested I use a ghost effect. Like, come on. If you've watched my edits for more than 10 seconds, you know I love spamming the ghost effect. That was a missed opportunity, chat. Don't worry though, I fixed it for you. That being said, some ideas actually surprised me. Like this radial blur effect on Deku's fist here. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty fire. Definitely stealing that one for future edits. So yeah, after taking chat's suggestions, remixing them, adding some ghost effects, here is the final result. I'm sorry it took me so long. Is everyone up? Do you think I can be a hero too? that actually turned out pretty sick. It's really like they say, teamwork makes the dream work. Only in this case, the team is me and two other AIs. Let me know what you think of the final result and what I could have done better. And if you want to get any of these effects, check out my free overlay pack in the description. Hope you have a good day and peace.